Pompeii is in Thailand. Hello, it's me again. I want to thank everyone who liked, shared, subscribed, and commented on my last video. It has been such an amazing journey as I traveled the last three years through Asia. As promised, I will be making these videos of all the good economical places I found while I was in Asia. Hit the like and subscribe button. This way you know when a new video comes out. Today's journey takes us to Sang Suk Chumburi in Thailand and Welcome back, Renzi. You guys have perfect timing. I was just doing my YouTube what? video. You're a YouTube? What? Let me wrap this up on YouTube so we can go and have a girl's night out. Oh. Two carry away here. Let's take it to Sansuk. Sansuk is located in Chomburi and is Bangkok's nearest seaside town. While in Sansuk, I stayed at the Sabagi condo. It came with a gym, a friendly front desk staff, nightly security, free room Wi-Fi, daily housekeeping, very clean rooms, a large refrigerator, place to hang your clothes. It even had a balcony, not to mention the indoor pool. Paying only on average $30 a night. What I love about Sansa is that you could get a pretty good hotel in Sansa for $14, $38, even $6 to $7 a night, which is along the ocean front. Yeah, I've been made it to travel, but I have a at one here. If we should stay here in Fort Lauderdale, even though we have so many beautiful restaurants and beaches, it would cost us $180 to $225 to even over $400 a night. Yeah, yeah, it's all dope, but there's never any beach do in those places. What you gonna do all in that? Yeah. Let's go back over to Sansuk. Sansuk is only minutes away from Petit Beach, but it was amazing to see how different the towns were. Let's go for a ride to my absolutely favorite spot on the beach. Sansuk area boasts an abundant number of natural resources, which are highlighted by the delightful beaches, local traditions, regional delicacies, and all fresh seafood. This is a popular coastal province among the Bangkokians who seek the nearest escape from the hectic weekly schedules. Ah, here we are. I have been dying to show you this area, and one day, when I have the money, I will definitely be buying a car. <laughs> this area is so quiet, with so much area to jog in the mornings and catch the morning sunrise. Even though this area is quiet, it is close to everything. The Lam Tam Scenic Spot. This is a resting point, a viewpoint, another place to sit and enjoy the sea breeze in Bang San. And it is very close to Bang San Beach. At night, people usually bring something to eat and sit on their mats in this area. And sometimes they even play guitar around here. At 5 p.m. at the Lion Tam Roundabout, you can catch the fishing market as it opens up. Just a little down the road, you have the Bang San Walking Street that also opens in the evening where you can pick up freshly grilled chicken and seafood as you welcome in the sunset. Let's take a trip to Bang San Beach, which is Sansuk Famous Beach. It is a popular beach due to its proximity to Bangkok and Patea. Bang San Beach is about 2.5 kilometers long. It is a tourist town for all the fun it has to offer. Taking a stroll along the beach, let's start with the food option. I mean, fresh steamed fishes, alive or grilled, fresh crab, octopus, fried shrimp, oh my goodness, grilled chicken, a variety of snails, you name it. Taking a walk over to the water, let's go. 
Here you can sit and be served as you relax. There is so much to do on this beach. It is truly a gem. They have the water sports activity to suit your needs. And the best part is in the evenings, everyone comes here to greet the sunset and enjoy a good light vibe with their families. Let's now head south along the beach to Bank Sayan Beach and then to Wanafa Beach. As you go south along the beach, it becomes less crowded, less street vendors, and more restaurants. It's so beautiful to jog along here in the mornings. I jog all the way down to the pier. From the pier, you can see all the way over to Patea Beach. Simply breathtaking. Ban Sehan Ka Samok viewpoint is a popular viewpoint not far from the Bang Sam Beach, approximately a hundred meters above sea level. This viewpoint offers a panoramic view of the Gulf of Thailand. In addition to the beautiful sea views, Kasamuk viewpoint also has a pleasant atmosphere with a long walkway for strolling and enjoying the scenery. There are several spots for sightseeing and each spot has many beautiful photo angles. If you are fortunate, you may see the monkeys that come by from the monkey park next door. Let's go next door to the monkey park and say hi to my friend. Situated within the temple grounds of Wat Tamikawat, the temple is home to the rolling yang plantations as well as herds of monkeys. The monkey park is open daily from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. The most common species of macaque seen are the stump-tailed macaques and the long-tailed macaque. The long-tailed macaques were named for their remarkably long tails. The macaques are highly intelligent and social creatures. They form relationships and can remember past interactions. Asia has such fabulous market. Let's take a trip to Nanman Market. I went to the market. I've heard a lot town. about Asian you markets. You find the Nanman Market. Go ahead, Francine, go ahead. The Nanman Market offers a vast variety of locally produced seafood products, such as fish, squid, and shrimps, as well as delicious foods and local fruits. As you walk through the markets, you can see fresh seafood, fresh fruits and vegetables. Another thing I love is that there is a variety of locally made desserts that you can try. So much locally made snacks, dehydrated shrimp, squid, a variety of fishes, seafood skewers, you name it. Such a pleasure to travel and be able to try new and exciting healthy food options. If you want to experience that extraordinary Thai elegance while in Chamburi, we recommend visiting the Ban Sukawadi. It's home to a beautiful mansion with gardens. Entry costs only $14. It is a European style mansion by the sea and it houses a statue of Kuan Yin and other sculptures that expresses the philosophy of living. Ban Sukawadi is a sacred place for worshiping Buddha's birth. Here you will find many sacred items and a place to enjoy Thai. Check out the Buddha Tower where you will find an extensive collection of Thai relics and Buddha images. The main feature is a 9.28 meter tall image of the Lord Buddha's birth. One of my favorite things is seeing the three Roman peacocks. <laughs> walking around and showing their beautiful feathers. So free. I love to go on boat. Let's take a trip over to the island. The island is the Koh Si Chang district, which is part of Chamburi. The district is consists of a single sub-district view, which is further subdivided into seven villages. 
The Koshishang is a good destination for those who want to escape the noise of Bangkok or Pattaya. It is definitely not a party island and is very quiet even on weekends. While there, I went to the Shafo Kayaye Shrine. It is a Buddhist temple built into the side of the cliff on the northern end of Koshishang Harbor. People come to sacrifice to the Shafo Kayaye and various gods. Ah, oh, she's still She's not broke. She, she just well, lost some money. I heard she's full. Oh, how the food got up in it? <laughs> I heard a dog loving it. I don't know place that a dog. <laughs> no, Suzanne. Tyler does not eat dogs. <laughs> there were numerous foods that I tried. I went to the one one Monsoon restaurant and I had the fried rice and grilled chicken. Meal cost was approximately five dollars. I tried a side restaurant with an assortment of food variety. I had some fried fish and rice, which cost me $2 with a cup of tea. I found this restaurant interesting. You could walk up and serve yourself out of these big pots. You can take away or dine in with home cooked meals for about $1.50. I love street food vendors. Here, the street vendors cook from their patios. You can go and get grilled meat for breakfast with the usual steamed rice, of course, for only a dollar. If you have a sweet tooth, I love this guy's ice cream. You can just sit by the ocean and enjoy his delicious coconut ice cream. And they put rice and corn in their ice cream. Another cool thing I found, in Bamboo, they make fresh rice pudding and put all kinds of stuff in it and serve it hot. Digger undid oh, it is a proud this chat. Yeah, simply amazing. That's why I love to travel. You think you've seen everything and you've done everything. You go to another area, sometimes in the same country, pop goes something totally different. If you want to know when new videos are made, hit that like and subscribe button. This way you'll be notified. See you soon. You can go have a girl's night out. Oh, party. Let's go, girl. Let's go, let's go, let's go.